circuit breaker can face a very dangerous situation which we call it as pumping now it is a worst situation uh, that circuit breaker can face and because of circuit breaker the whole power system can face and to avoid this dangerous situation we use a circuit which we call it as anti pumping so before you understand what is anti pumping it is very important that you have clear idea on what is pumping so in this video we are going to talk about that and if you want to get the details in the easiest way then you need to watch the video hello everybody and welcome back to yet another interesting video now when we talk about circuit breaker we generally talk about the main parts like uh, we have interrupter here so this is first interrupter this is second interrupter this is a 420 kv circuit breaker what you can see on your screen so we have two interrupters we also have a support insulator here which supports the insulator and then we also have a mechanism box here right these are the few main parts that we talk about in general about the circuit breaker but inside this marshling box there are lot of things which uh, what we call it as a secondary circuit now it holds lot of things so for example what you can see on your screen it can have uh, contactors it can have different push buttons it will have different wiring logics installed into it it will have contactors and lot many other things now this box uh, this marshling box or operating box is responsible for making sure that the closing operation the tripping operation of the circuit breaker happens very smoothly right and it also contains all the logics that are necessary for circuit breaker's correct operation this is what we call it as control schematics which we already talked in one of our previous video now let us understand how the close and trip operation of circuit breaker happens now this is very really important that you understand this basics so that you will understand the dangerous situation pumping so let us first talk about the close and trip coil so what you can see right here is the close or trip coil now it is basically a solenoid that is used in the mechanism box so when a supply is given to this coil this particular piston moves which triggers the closing or tripping operation right and this coil works on a short supply so if you give a continuous supply then that is not very good for this coil this coil will burn out because of that so you have to make sure that you are giving only a short supply to this coil right so this is a solenoid coil which when a supply is given uh, the winding will generate the field and that field will cause the moving of that particular piston and that initiates the closing and tripping operation right so that is closing or tripping coil uh, remember that the next equipment that i want to talk here is the auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker so what you can see is the auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker again this will be installed in the marshalling box and this will be connected to the operating rod of the circuit breaker now what does that mean that means that whenever circuit breaker will operate that means whenever circuit breaker will open or close this switch will also operate with that right and it has two types of contact one is what you can see is the no contact which is what we call it as normally open contact the default position of this contact will be open right and the second type of contact is normally close contact nc so again the default position for this would be close so you can see the symbols also here it is open it is close now what happens is let's say this are the default position when circuit breaker is in open condition now we have given a closing command the breaker has closed and because of that this contacts will also change their position so the normally open contact will close and normally close contact will open once the breaker changes its position again when the breaker come back from its uh, close position to open position again this contact will change their position to the default position right understood this is very very important for you to understand in order to understand the next part that i am going to explain now as i said uh, previously that this particular box will hold different wiring logics which are responsible for the correct operation of circuit breaker 
and it is generally represented by a control schematic which we will see a simple control schematics uh, in the next slide so what you can see is the control schematic arrangement this is how it is arranged in the horizontal way what you can see is the positive line on top and negative line on the bottom now generally the control circuitry of the circuit breaker or in the substation they goes with the dc supply so it can be 110 volt dc or 220 volt dc right so here is the simple uh, circuit that i have drawn here you can see a push button and here is the closing coil similarly we have a push button for tripping operation and there is a tripping coil now here the arrangement is also provided to connect the remote trip or the signals of relay so whenever relay senses a fault it will give signal which will directly bypass this push button and the supply will go to the tripping coil and the tripping operation will initiate now let us understand how the basic operation happens so when you press this push button the supply will go to the closing coil and the moment closing coil receives the supply it will initiate the closing operation so the piston will move that will trigger the operation of uh, you know the operating mechanism and that operating mechanism will cause the closing operation of circuit breaker now this push button how it operates the moment you press the contact will close the supply will pass through it and the moment you release your hand the contact will uh, get back to its original position thereby breaking the supply here so sub continuous supply will not pass through it right similarly how you can perform a tripping operation either of course by pressing this push button here or if rel relay senses the fault it will directly give command and that will reach to the tripping coil which will initiate the tripping operation of circuit breaker right now this is the normal situation that we are talking about now let us talk about something interesting that might happen with circuit breaker yeah but before that there is one important point that also you need to remember uh, in the closing logic of the circuit breaker it is also necessary that we check the uh, you know position of circuit breaker whether the circuit breaker is already closed or it is already open if the breaker is already closed and you are giving a closing command it is not a very good situation right so it is necessary to check whether the breaker is already closed or it is in open now to check that what we are doing is we are using one of the nc contact of auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker now what happens is its default position is closed so when breaker is in open condition this uh, contact will be closed so the, it will maintain the continuity of supply right so when you press the push button and when if the breaker is open the supply will reach to the closing coil and the breaker will close now the moment breaker closes as we have discussed this contact will open right like this so now doesn't matter if how many times you push this uh, push button the supply will not reach because there is a break here right so the supply will not go to the closing coil and the, again one more command will not reach the circuit breaker it is very important to check this also well there are of course lot of other things that need to be checked before we close the circuit breaker but we will not talk about that in this video right so remember the auxiliary switch is required to check the circuit breaker's position now let us move ahead and talk about the interesting situation that might happen so here is the similar circuit that we discussed now let's say you have pushed the push button right here the supply has gone the breaker is in the open condition so hence this contact is in the closed position the supply will go to the closing coil the closing coil will initiate the closing operation and the your breaker has closed now let us say this push button is in the faulty condition now you have pressed the push button you have released your hand physically it came back to its original position right here but the internally the contacts remains in the closed condition now you cannot identify this situation from the outside because from outside the push button has came back to its original position but internally this push button is still in the closed condition the contacts are still uh, you know uh, in contact with each other and hence your supply will pass through it always now this is a problem now you see the green line that i have indicated here so let me rub it for you yeah so you can see the green line so you have pressed the push button supply has reached to the closing coil closing coil has initiated the closing operation breaker has closed 
the moment the breaker will close this contact will open so you see the contact has opened so your supply is broken the closing coil is no more getting the supply clear so so far we do not have any problem but the problem is now initially the supply was holding right here to the push button but now the supply has came to this position and it is just waiting for this contact to close the moment this contact will close again the supply will reach to the closing coil right clear so far now let's say in this situation there is a fault on the system your relay has sensed that fault and relay has given a command to the tripping coil so here the tripping command will reach the supply will go to the tripping coil and the tripping coil will initiate the tripping operation now your breaker has tripped right so breaker has tripped means what this contact will change its position and it will be close right so again we are back to this position where the contact is closed and since the supply was waiting right here it will pass immediately to the closing coil now here you have to remember that you have not given a closing command right you have not pressed the push button or neither you have given any command from the remote location the command was given to the closing coil automatically because the push button is faulty do you want to close the breaker no you do not but you have given this command the command has gone automatically because of the faulty push button and the closing coil will again initiate the closing operation again your breaker has closed and this contact will open so again the supply is broken but since the fault is still there in the system relay will again give a command to the close tripping coil now again the breaker will trip so the breaker is stripped again so this contact will change its position again it will close the supply will go to the closing coil the closing coil will initiate the closing operation fault is still there in the system so again uh, the relay will give the command to trip the breaker will trip the moment breaker trips again this position will this contact will change its position and it will go into the closing command and the closing command will go to the closing coil so you see here what is happening is that you don't want to close the breaker but the breaker is getting closed automatically so continuously breaker is getting commands like close trip close trip close trip and so on and so forth continue of course uh, there will be some delay the spring will charge so 15 second 20 second delay will be there but continuously the breaker is getting this command you do you intend to do this no you do not but it is happening automatically and this is what we call it as pumping very very dangerous situation and of course this is a rare situation but if it happens then it i think it is the worst situation the breaker may face and not only breaker and because of breaker the complete power system may need to face this very dangerous situation and it must be avoided at any cost any cost so if you see that is the reason why you take any circuit breaker you take medium voltage circuit breaker you take high voltage or extra high voltage circuit breaker all the circuit breaker will have the arrangement which avoid this situation right now imagine this situation happening to a maybe 4 420 kv circuit breaker or maybe 220 kv circuit breaker now we are talking about extra high voltage here if this happens i think it's a disaster right so it must be avoided at any cost clear understood what is pumping situation now to avoid this situation the there is a circuitry right and that circuitry is what we call as anti pumping circuitry very very important if you are somebody who is working in the substation or in the switchgear industry having this information is really important i believe so now in order to of course in order to understand the anti pumping you first need to understand what are the different components that we use what are the different uh, functions of each component what are the different wiring logics are there what are some of the prerequisites to close and trip the circuit breaker so everything you need to understand because of that right and if you want to understand this then i have a solution for that let me share it with you so this is the solution that we have we have a dedicated course wherein we have explained everything about the circuit breaker control schematics in a very easiest way if you want to learn directly from the industry experts then this is the course 
for you this is the only comprehensive course available on the internet which will teach you everything about the secondary component every logic that we use in the secondary schematic including anti pumping right so with this course you get high quality 4 plus hours of content you get lifetime validity all the necessary pdfs which are important that are that is part of this course you will also get certificate of completion which you can showcase on the professional websites like linkedin also this it comes with 7 days return policy so if you don't find the course uh, satisfactory you can claim 100% of your money back right you'll get guidance directly from the industry expert you can also enroll into the live q and a session that happens you will also get a dedicated course community and lot many things that are necessary now if you are somebody who is looking to change your job into a switch gear industry or into a substation industry then this is a very very key role key course for you that you can use to crack the technical interviews with this course you will also get mastery in reading the control schematics so let it be the drawings of any make of circuit breaker you will understand it using this course you will also get the all the components uh, introduction how they function what is the use of each and every component that is explained in this course so there are lot many other things anti pumping insights also you will get so let's talk about some of the uh, curriculum of this course so in the module 1 we will talk about everything basic about the circuit breaker which is necessary for you to understand the further thing so we in this module will create a foundation for you then in the module 2 we will talk about each and every secondary component right that we use right from uh, what is schematic drawing closing and tripping coil to the all the small small switches that we use in the uh, secondary schematic then in the third module we will talk about the closing circuit wherein you will get uh, the industry expert advice on how to read the schematic drawings uh, then you will see the what are some of the prerequisite closing circuit of mgo breaker uh, what is pumping anti pumping dc change over logic indication and alarm circuit and also the spring charging failure module 4 is dedicated completely for tripping circuit of the circuit breaker so wherein you will get to learn about all this thing including the important capacitor tripping device logic right in module 5 you'll learn about everything about the ego type circuit breaker control schematics we'll also talk about medium voltage uh, schematic in module 6 and as a bonus you'll also get a walk through of actual circuit breaker drawing right so all these things is covered in the particular course Now, there are a lot of use uh, cases wherein you can join this course so if you are anybody from this list this course is must for you and believe me you can see some of the feedbacks that we have received from our student they are absolutely loving it the feedback is very very positive and there are a lot of use cases lot of happy people we have student across 5 to 6 different countries so definitely you need to check this out i will provide link for this course down in the description go and check it out right now so that's all for this video guys i hope you have understood the pumping situation and hope to see you soon in the circuit breaker control schematic master class right so that's all for this video if you like it do share it and do comment your thoughts it really helps the channel to grow further thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning